Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria. In the last one, we actually uh, got here to this port city, which is on East Gand, which is actually the island where Velvet's hometown is. And we are about to go check that out momentarily. But before we do that, we have an expedition to turn in. Let's do it. Take a look at Let's do it. Triple win for the win. All sorts of skills. I think we still have quite a bit of things to get from this. Yeah, we don't even have... They're missing two specials. And yeah, okay. Lots of things to go still on the Centurion Isles. So we'll just roll with it for now. We're going to roll with this party because who cares what my party is at the moment. And uh, yeah, let's get going. I There's still two treasure chests in this area that I haven't picked up. Where the heck did I miss treasure chests? Now I want to know. Hello? Hello. Because the way that marker up at the top left works is that it tells me how many treasure chests are on this map, particularly. And I'm missing two. How the heck is that Pashmir? Also, the beeping has stopped. Hall of freaking Luya. Hallelujah. Wait, did I climb up here? I don't remember climbing up this ladder. Because I suck? What do I suck at? This game? Finding treasures? What do we? What do I suck at? And I need to explore. Oh, because I didn't find the two treasures. Fish, please. I was kind of like trying to end off the episode last time, so I'm sure I didn't find everything. Wow, this is a literal ass backwards path. Does this kid play cards? Ooh. Ooh, he wants to play cards. We haven't played this. Well. I might have played it last session, I don't remember, but I definitely haven't played Tales of Berseria in a week, so there's that. Um, yeah. Or five days? Six days? I played it last Friday, and today is a Wednesday, so five days. Um, I'm going to play this card. Hell yeah. Don't know what I'm trying to accomplish, but I'm going to give it a shot Uh, uh, I'll be taking this one, please. No, no. Hey, I can get all the characters from that one. Let's go. Tales of Destiny, baby. Finish that round. I'm just gonna take, just take the, just take the dub when you have it. Don't even waste time. Just take the dub, especially on novice. Just take it. I'm gonna take Rita. Give me Rita. Carol, come back, Carol. Uh, oh, I don't have any matching ones. Wow. Sad story. I'm getting wrecked right now. Damn. I'm getting super shrecked right now. Okay, he didn't take the points, unfortunately. Means he's gonna build up points and whoop my candy ass. He's got the advantage, the clear cut advantage right now, which is no bueno. No bueno for me, dog. Take the win. Yay, okay, cool. Take the win while the points are low. I'm okay with it. Let me get that. Let me let me get that. Let let let, let, let me get that. Ooh, let me get that. I will take this one. And then I will take this one. Actually, I'll hold off on that. No, I'll take it. Fuck it. 
I was hoping that bitch didn't have one of those, but she had one of those, so fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Okay. Not getting any luck on these double stacks. Ooh. Damn, 20 points? I'm fucked now. That's all she wrote, homies. Damn, the bitch got ninja also and renegade. Oh my god. I don't even understand how you get all them points. Wow, she's like, oh yeah? Well, that would fucking whoop your ass even more. Fuck you. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. God, how are you not ending this now? Just end my misery, dog. It's already over. You win. You're just pushing, you're just putting, you're just rubbing it in, Yuto. You're just rubbing it in. No, I don't want to play you again. You're a dick. Just take the dub and walk away, piece of shit. I didn't even want to play you cards that badly anyways. I just wanted to play because I, I still want to understand how to really play that game. And I still don't. So there you go. It still feels like some luck is involved regardless because of the way the cards are drawn and you get extras. Because every time you put a card, you get to draw a card. And if it has a match, you take the match. So, I mean, part of it is luck. But even so, I got fucking owned. Just like, you know, any card game, really. There is some luck involved. Did I get the surfboard thing? Uh, there it is. Forgot the button for the surfboard thing. Hell yeah, there's my two treasures I missed. You've never seen anyone get wrecked so hard on that? Well, that's the first time I got wrecked that hard. Basically, you take everything but the people cards first. What I what do you mean, dragon? The people cards. Oh wait, do you mean like the little symbol on there? That's like the little orange person, two people with the two people symbol. You want to take everything that's not those two. Oh, so so you want to focus on the ones that aren't those? Is what you're saying? Huh. Yeah. See, I didn't understand that. I don't understand what all of it means. I, I, I when I, when they explained the rules, it didn't. There was part of it I just didn't understand. And again, part of it is still luck, regardless. But yeah, I know there's a strat to like a basic idea of a strat when just playing it. But okay, I'll keep that in mind for next time I play. Could have had a five star combo twice that match. Well, again, I don't understand the game well enough, so maybe next time I'll try it with with that in mind. All right, so I guess we're ready to move on to the next area, which I guess is toward hometown. We'll just have to Velvet. go there and see for ourselves. Which way is your village? It's far to the east, through the Morgana Woods. Far to the east. All right, well, let's go ahead and hit up that triangle button. I wonder what Velvet's hometown is like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place. And it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me. I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? N not at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well, I imagine she was a plain, hardworking girl. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet Hold she a hunch. A cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Hmm. And now she's the Lord of Calamity. If she sees her former friends, maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. But what has she lost? She lost her bro. She lost her whole. She basically lost her entire life. Her life is entirely different now. I mean, you guys aren't far off. They really aren't far off from what her her life was, you know? Hardworking farm girl type. But not anymore, baby. Not anymore. Also, these are new enemies. We should probably fight them. They're like pallet swaps of stuff we've already fought, but they're new. So let's take them on. I'm going to fight this werewolf that's chasing me around. Wolf Berserker. Which is weak to water. I think water's my circle combo. Damn, getting fucking owned, son. Oh, 
cool. I like it when my ear pops and then starts ringing. It's really cool. I don't even know what caused that, but I got that one. That cool ear ringing sound. Awesome. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Buffy sets got this. Okay, first of all, I I wouldn't have left any abilities unchanged out, right? Yeah. Okay. Just checking everybody's equipment to make sure I'm working on new abilities. I usually don't leave it that way. Unless it would have literally happened right as I went off the air, but I don't think I was fighting. I was in town, so we should be we should be good. Anyway, some more of these moblin pig bitches. Fuck them up. What are they called? Cliff orcs. Why they have fucking aprons on like they're gonna go fucking barbecue later, I don't know. These are the Sunday Dad barbecue orcs. Sunday Dad Barbecue Orc. What am I even trying to say? Alright. Geo Rollers and Blade Beaks. I think we fought Blade Beaks before. Geo Rollers, maybe not so much. Eh, maybe. If they were part of the Crustacean Challenge thing we fought earlier. Possibly. Stop it, you fucking void. These roly polies are being real big assholes, you know this? Do you know this? I hope they like the taste of my lethal pain, motherfucker. Play to win! So I haven't really, like I said, I, I've been I've been contemplating my schedule lately, like in terms of how I've been, um, you know, how my alternating with games has been going during the week. And when I'm in the midst of one of these long RPGs like this game, all it makes me do is contemplate if I should be doing my schedule the way that I've been doing it. Because sometimes, again, these long RPGs, I don't know how long they're really going to take me, but I'm already aware that this game can easily take me upwards of 60 hours. Like, that's pretty easy to do. So I'm like, well, if that's the case, man, I should play it as often as I can. And when I started off this playthrough, I did. But I've kind of fallen back into, like, rotating in my other games, not having extra time to squeeze in a couple more hours of this game after other streams. And so I'm like, man... I'd like to avoid this in the future, dragging out a game for like two months. I know I've only been playing this for a little over a month now, but like, it, I'd be nice to finish it before April's over, you know? That's how I look at it. April is just, is just about to begin as of this, like it's the 31st of March on this recording, right? So I'm like, is there a chance I finish this by the end of April? Probably, but I'm gonna probably have to make sure I focus a lot on it, right? And I was contemplating how I could do that with my schedule and I was thinking I really enjoyed the way I did my schedule back in October last year where I basically just had a weekend game and a weekday game and just no matter what it was that was my schedule now part of that was easy to do because I wasn't doing any long RPGs and that was part of the plan so mixing in these long RPGs may you know gum up my schedule to where I'm playing a long RPG four days a week which isn't really the worst thing in the world, but I'm just pointing out that it may eat up the entire week for a while. But then I'll just make sure that the weekend game isn't similar. That's how I think I will make sure that that, that just comes out that way with scheduling. And that way, you know, I could probably get through a game like this in one month. Or ish. I mean, this game's long. Like, this game's on the longer side, so maybe it'll still take more than a month. But, you know what I mean? We'll get through it faster is all I'm trying to say. I might try that schedule out when I'm getting closer to done with this game and or done with Sonic Heroes, which is what I'm working on with this simultaneously. Kind of switch to that schedule once one of those games is done, which Sonic Heroes is going to finish first. Let's be real. This game, this game is not close to over yet. Potentially just do two days a week to avoid burnout. 
Well, that's what I'm doing already, blah, blah, blah. I'm not burning out on how much I'm streaming. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm really saying is that this game is taking a long time. Now, obviously, if a game is taking a long ass time and I want to squeeze in something else, I just will. But I think in general, it'd be nice to get through a game like this a little bit more efficiently instead of just playing it twice a week, which is what the last few weeks has been. So we only get about, I don't know, seven or eight hours of the game in a week. You know, that's going to take at least seven weeks to get to up to 60 hours, if that even is the right amount of time to finish it. But anyway, like I said, I'm just spitballing right now. I haven't decided on anything definitively yet. Just pointing it out, because this is the perfect kind of game to just have conversation like that. Bring that up. Yeah. Also, hi, Garzonis. Welcome to the stream. Schedule G is here to give you your daily fucking, hey, what are we doing this week? <laughs> But yeah, right now, if anything, my schedule is really good for not burning out on any games. But the difference is the games get dragged out for longer. So I have to have that delicate balance of burnout versus, hey, we'll never finish all these games. Like It feels like, one, it feels like all the games are getting dragged out instead of just the one long one. That's what I'm trying to say, really. So I want to try and fix that a little bit, at least in cases like this where we have a super long-ass game. Because the next RPG I have lined up isn't going to be anywhere near as long as this game is. So I might, like, not even care about the schedule. Although, we could fly through it a lot faster if I just focus on it. So, again, double-edged sword, but I, I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I want to do. And uh, things will change accordingly. It doesn't change the times I will schedule at all. That's basically not what that point of that conversation was. Is that the times that I schedule right now are, will all be the same. It's just a matter of what game I'll be playing. That's all. Ooh, it's a big does not affect anything that's already like time slots are still the same. Obviously, time slot changes would be a whole nother conversation, but that's only that would only happen if things change with my job. And uh, well, if I end up having to go back into the office, which eventually I will, that will end up happening, um, and it probably will happen this year. It probably won't be till later this year, but it will happen. Um, once that happens, I may not have as much time to stream on a couple of days a week. But we'll see how things pan out. We shall see. Because, yeah, if I, if I really have to reduce hours, if that ever happens, I'll definitely have to revamp it so I'm only focusing on one game at a time or, you know, two games at a time only. Which is kind of what I would like to do anyways, so... Again, it's already a thought in my brain regardless of schedule. First it was short stream on Friday, then it was on Tuesday. Soon it'll be all short streams. Hey, man. If that's what life throws at me, that's what life throws at me. I've been doing this for a long-ass time, Garzonis. If I had to just stop streaming altogether because of my job... I mean, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be surprising. Although I wouldn't want to, obviously. But I feel like I would still want to stream regardless. It just, who knows what could get reduced at any moment in time. I mean, if I got laid off from my job, things would fucking change drastically. I'll do less than 80 hours for sure. Are you talking about 80 hours on this game, Dragon? Or are you talking about 80 hours of streaming? Anyway, my mom's lucky and now she never has to go back into the office due to the pandemic, Flacoba. Like, she never has to go back into the office because, so like they, they change her position to a, to a work from home position. Cause that's kind of nice. I mean, if that's what she likes, it only sucks if you don't like working from home. If you like working from home and it, and the job can be done from home, that's kind of cool. I feel like my current job, if I really wanted to and I was worried about it, I probably could get approved to work from home as much as I want if I was, like, being paranoid about the pandemic. Because my current job is definitely very uh, doable from home. But if I switch positions or switch what my current role is or anything like that, then, you know, I definitely would have to wake me up 
to, to some degree, anyways. So yeah, this game will take me less than 80 hours? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it'll take me more than 80. I, th I never thought this game would even take me 80 at all. In fact, I don't even think it's going to take me to 60, but we'll see. It all depends on how much I get sucked into doing side stuff near the end of the game. Because right now, I've only been sprinkling in side stuff, you know, as I find it. I haven't gone out of my way to do any of the side quest stuff yet, which I've already thought about doing next time we get some open, t open world time. I kind of didn't realize the side quests were actually marked on the map, which is really nice. So I might do that. Oh, I've been learning abilities, I think, and I haven't been switching them out. Let me do that. She finally fin finished another blade. That one was much faster than the previous one. She was on the freaking like, Floric blade forever. Demon Cleaver. Yeah, let's give her that Demon Cleaver. 80 hours is how long you took, Dragon? You also played it on a harder mode, and you did you do 100% of everything in the game? I have no idea how thorough you were, so I don't know. The harder mode, I de would definitely slow everything down in general. Ooh, I don't have any more waistcoats to give my boy. I only have one of these Feldspar waistcoats. Damn. You did about 99% of the stuff? Well, again, I don't know if I will. I don't know if I've missed anything yet. I don't know if things are missable. You know, that all matters, but... Anyway... You wish you got that kind of treatment at your job, but you actually need to be at the office to do your job, Akko. Well, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of jobs out there where you just, you need to be in the office to be able to do it. Like, that's just base job requirements to get, require you to be there. How do I get that up there? Okay, I can climb over here. But yeah, just back on the schedule thing. If, like I said, if, if things change with my job and I have to go back in the office, I definitely will have to, um, I'm, I mean, if I'm still on the same team, things should be about the same still. But if I end up changing teams and, or changing jobs or changing roles, like I said, which I've already been contemplating doing recently, but the work from home thing has kind of discouraged me to do that right now. But once I can go back in, I'm kind of thinking about maybe trying to find a new position just to do something different. But we'll see. It'll definitely change how I have to do streaming timeline. It'll, it'll mean it'll have to. It'll just do it because I won't have enough time to stream as much as I do now. I just won't. I don't want to fight the werewolf, man. Fuck werewolf. You know, I was going to complain about fighting battles, but you know what? I'm okay with it. A lot of time when you go through these areas, I don't fight that many battles. We need the experience points at this point. We, I want to level up more of the abilities, all that shit. Kind of trying to catch up on abilities that we haven't been learning off of weapons and other equipment. Sneeze him. Nothing can stop these fists. I feel like we should change Eisen's outfit. We haven't seen him in a different outfit in a long time. Nobody's, nobody's redeemed changing Aizen's outfit since I think it was Morrow that put this outfit on him like quite a while ago. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. So unless somebody else wants to do it and pick their own things, I'm just gonna pick stuff right now. I kind of just feel like changing it. We could put him in the the black Norman suit. That'd be hilarious. But nah, I'm gonna put him in. You know, I'm just gonna go back to his base outfit for now. We have we basically haven't had him in there in that since the we got him almost. I'll give him the slick back hair though. Take these dang rosy cheeks off for once. 
Oh shit, he actually looks badass with this coat and these horns. Let's do that. That just looks badass. Let's just do that. Also, my expedition is back, Woot. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Suck it! And the pirate flag legionist crew. Nice. This would be big. And the crimson crystal. Treasure. And that crystal discovered on the Centurion Isles. We said to balance the energies between our own dimension and another. All wrong. Also got a new scale. Man, we got lots of shit on that one. That was nice. Uh, we definitely need to do another round of that until we find the next area, though. But... So we're still missing one special, one other material, and the next area. But we got this treasure. The Scarlet Knight. Uh -huh. Wow, it's spectacular, Velvet. Hmm? That deep, deep red. It's like a sunset reflected in the ocean. That's what you see? Huh? Did I say something funny? No, not at all. But I hadn't noticed that's the same color of the sunset I once saw with Laffy. I guess the beauty in anything comes from what you bring to it. Indeed. Indeed. I did play Tales of Symphonia 2, Baklava, Dawn of the New World, or whatever it's called. I have played that game. Did you have a question about it? Or a comment about it that you would like to make? Damn it. I should have surfed. Why am I not surfing? Should be surfing! No escape. Damn it with your stun ass bullshit bird. Oh, the crystal that I just picked up, that's from Tales of Pony Down the World. Okay. I believe it. I haven't played that game in a while, to be fair. Like, I played it on the Wii. In fact, do I have a copy of that on the Wii? Or did I borrow that game? I must have a copy of it. I don't remember. Anyway, I meant to, I kind of meant to replay it when I played the Tell Symphonia Chronicles Collection HD thing, you know. But I only replayed Tell Symphonia and I didn't touch the second one at all. <laughs> I didn't really give a fuck. I didn't like the second one that much, to be fair. Wait, what? I just passed something that somebody was done with. Oh, the Amber Spear. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Right, War Pike is next. Here we go. Tranquilo. El Idalo. It looks like we're done with. Oh, not quite all the boots. Spike shoes, it goes. Ah, <sighs> anybody else? That's everybody. Okay. Good, good, good. Moving on. I should be surfing, dog. We have a surfboard. I unlocked it already on this area. Huh. Say, do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? It had to be to funnel the other prisoners' malevolence to a Nominot, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? Lack of food, probably. I heard she devoured the entire village. Could that rumor really be true? Who can say? Let's ask Aizen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book! Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Then he used Velvet to test how Therians work. <laughs> I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment... I'm just offering a theory, but a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. How could he be capable of such things? Perhaps that's just how badly he wants to save this world, or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? Well, yeah, in his brain, it was probably the only way. The only way. Do you think there'll be ruins at this Earth Pulse point too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Have you been there before? No. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. Eastgand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. 
Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The worship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? That would be it's pretty sick. It's a thought, and the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Maybe you just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. Hmm. Frogs ain't got hair. Do they? I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't fucking know. In my brain, frogs ain't got no goddamn hair. These people are odd. They don't even keep eye contact with the people they speak to. <sighs> yeah, Garzonis, totally. <laughs> I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> Alright, we got some mellow fluid. Surf it back. Anyway, we're about to take on another one of the, uh, the hunt monsters here in a moment. That big red X upcoming... Frogs, in fact, do not have hair. Did you double check for me? Because, I mean, I guess that's, maybe that's the point of the saying, as fine as a frog's hair, as in, like, duh, it doesn't have hair. It just seems weird, because I've actually heard that fine frog hair comment twice today. And I was like, I don't think frogs have hair, so that just must be some kind of, like, you know, like kind of like a, I won't call it ironic saying, but like, you know, like an untrue observation comparison type, like unrealistic. Basically, you're, 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 the metaphor is that it's unrealistic. It's not, there is no fucking frog hair. It's fake as fuck. Where's my big monster? Oh, is it this thing? Oh shit, I think it's a stinky looking skunk thing. You're strong. Dangeroma. All right, wait, whoa, 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 what are you weak to? Weak to fire. Don't use wind. Okay. Holy moly. Dude, Aizen died already? What the fuck is this thing about? Aizen got fucked up. Bro. Aizen, I'm sorry, sir, but what happened to you? No escape. Okay, I want that thing over there. Hold on. Gimme. Oh, thank you. Right, here we go. Devour. Crush him. I should use mine as well. Shit. As soon as I went to use it, I lost one of my things. So that's cool. HP looking like. We only got him about a third of the way almost. Damn, this thing hits fucking hard, man. Keep an eye on my HP situation. Fuck. I knew that was going to happen. Revive me. I'm trying to spam my fucking move, but sometimes you just, as soon as it runs out, you die. Hold on. 
hold up. I want that. No! You won't take me alive, Skunky! I'm gonna keep spamming that shit, literally. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. We got him pretty close to dead, so that's good. Yeah, we got him. I thought we were done for. Get fucked, skunk boy. Anyway, we learned a couple of skills. That's good. And got a glaze sight. Provides the ability to trigger a random skill that can have SG consumption. Cool. All right, another hunt monster dead. Good times. I did learn some masteries, didn't I? All right. Ooh, command shoes. Command shoes. Runners high. Guess we'll work on that one. Flame ward. Shock ward. Do, 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 do. Oh, shiz nuggets. Well. Get this werewolf out my life, out my life, out my, out my life, you. And the worm says goodbye to me as I murder thee and send him to... Whatever his insect god is, I don't know. I wish I had power. Alright. That's another skill mastered. Good shit. We're up to the Feldspar. Let's work on this one first because there's only one of them. And it looks like a female only armor that probably all the females can wear. Okay, I think I got everything on this screen. We could probably just go on. There is a save point here, which means it's probably time to go either into another part of the woods or maybe we're at town. We'll see. Oh, new part of the woods. In fact, is this is this the woods we were at the beginning of the game? I don't know, but there's new enemies here, so let's say hi. Hello, hello, Cyclops. Oh, what are you weak to? Fire. Feel the burn. They hit pretty hard, but they swing slow. Shit, but they hit hella hard. No! Shit! Stop hitting me, fuckers. I'm mixing my fucking combo. Wonder why it's Cyclops with a Z. Probably because there's already a Cyclops that's not with a Z. They just mixed it up with a Z one. I don't know. Because Zs are cool when in place of S's. Everyone knows that. You can die, sir. Thank you. I was an ass whooping. 
Is that a new weapon for Vel that I just picked up? Oh, this area is a new area. I don't have the surfboard here yet. I cannot surf in here. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not, not yet, 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 yet. That was a long enough combo to do my second Mystic Art. For real? Dang. I've yet to pull it off. On purpose, anyways. No, I don't think I've done it at all yet. But that's because I haven't really tried to, like, line it up and press it at the right time. I never really understand the combo thing. Because I thought it was, like, the amount my combo was and not necessarily the amount that, like, my... Uh, What was I trying to say? Like there's a multiplier, and I don't think I don't think it's the multiplier. I think it's the actual combo amount. I want that shiny, I'm greedy. I do it for a Lingzu. I mean, yeah, I try to spam the claw when I can. Most of the time when I spam it, though, the battle's about to end when I get it, when I can finally spam, spam it. Oh. All right, next area. Huh. Must be a big forest. I don't see... There's just two straightforward screens that go to the next thing. And no fucking... No fucking surfboard marker. Lame. Lamey lamo. This might be the the area where we fought the boar in the beginning of the game. It's just uh, because the enemies are harder here, it doesn't look the same. That's why it's just so super straightforward. Like, I think one of the paths was just blocked by a bunch of dudes that were, like, just blocking the way. Well, let's see. Next screen, here we come. Still no blue thing for the fucking surfing, weirdly. Quartz bag. Drop five stacks on the quartzy bag. Drop, drop five stacks on your quartz bag, baby. Also, there's a save point here, which makes me think maybe time to fight something? Unless this was just the one from the beginning of the game, like I said. That voice. Oh yeah, something's about to happen. I was just looking at where these two markers on the map go to. But first! <gasps> oh snap, it's a big bug. Fuck him up. Glad I saved it. Xeno Mantis. Weak to fire. Crustacean winged fiend. I don't think I have like any of that other than the crustacean. Like this crustacean move is a... Eh, it's actually not a horrible choice. I do have some new moves I haven't been using. I have an undead one. I have a winged one. Wait, this bitch is winged, huh? What's going on? Fuck yeah, he is. Winged crustacean fiend. Winged crustacean fiend. Swallow dances for winged as well.
Oh. Is this the giant bug from the opening of the game? It might be. There is a big bug that Velvet fights in the opening. I forgot what it looks like off the top of my head, but you might be right. That one's water. This one's wind. Okay, so I'm going to put this... No, I'm not. Fuck okay, yeah, I'm just gonna use the X combo. Just go with that. Damn, Magi has been getting her fucking move over and over. I'm trying to get use my move myself. There we go. Motherfucker, where are you going? Big old bug fuck, come here. Keep spamming that shit. Where you going, bitch? I didn't have enough points. I saw that too. I do it. Um, I don't think that was the right level. Damn. Whatever. I still did it, so it did damage. I was hoping that was my right combo, though. Not quite. I stopped for a second and it stopped the combo. Oh, that's lame. I was trying not to stop for a second. Okay, we might get another chance in this fight alone. This fight is a long one. In for the long haul in this fight. Get him, Lobby. You fucker. Man, that bitch stopped com stopped my combo. I was just about to do it. My combo got stopped in the middle of, of it, though, unfortunately. Oh, well. That was a long fight, but not that hard. He did hit kind of hard, but we have enough healing to keep up with it, so we were good. Anyway, good a few more equipment skills. A few more, indeed. Also another Glacite. Grants random skill that creates an advantage against demi-human armored undead fiend and dragons. I 
can't believe it. Is it really you? Help it? What is this? How are you alive? I could ask you the same question. Where have you been this whole time? You just up and disappeared. Everyone thinks that you were eaten by a demon. But I knew it couldn't be true. You're too strong to let some crummy demon take you down. You're alive. The final live. Sorry, I I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. I have to let everyone know the good news. You finally come back to us. Nico's alive. She's alive. Don't let your guard down. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, naturally, we've got a reaper with us. Let's head for a ball. We can ask everyone there exactly what happened. Y yeah. I was like, I, you know, I've come to terms with what I did back then, and now it's not even, might not even Our be true. Her whole world's about to get flipped upside dizzle. Scout ship. So I don't blame her apprehension. Because maybe the no, real truth have to ask. is not going to be okay. Are you sure that the other villagers died that day? Well, it's... It's not like I had time to check. I just know I ate a bunch of people. I thought the people were the people from the village. I mean, that's pretty much her excuse, right? She did devour a bunch of people. Or at least, you know... From what we saw, she did devour some people. Okay, so both of these go to the same area. The question is, does one like lead to a treasure or something? I'm gonna try the north one first and see. <sighs> okay, they both lead to different paths then. Okay, let me, well that one leads to three paths. Let's see what the other one leads to first. I want my surfboard, damn it. Speed up this process. Lingzi Mashri! Okay, this is dead end because I don't have the fucking surfboard. But otherwise it would be a shortcut across something. Shake them while you bake them, baby. Yeah, it would lead us to that treasure. I can get from the other side anyways. Ooh, another all divide. I'm okay with that for sure. So I'm gonna come across a real fight that wants me to use that or needs me to use that, but there'll probably be some tough optional boss fight. That's usually where you use the all divide. Okay, so I missed the treasure in this area? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Never mind. thought I saw one on this screen when I was here last, but I'm tripping. Okay, so this screen's got options. We'll check the first closest nearest option first. See where it go. Dead end road. It's class time for you, Buckle. All right, man. Have a good lurk. Learn some stuff. And I'll see you when you get back. Have a good one. Another life bottle. That's good because I used up a couple of those. Cool, cool.
Okay, so I'm assuming this lower path will lead over to where that other dead end path we or the yeah, basically that other side path connects to, I'm hoping. Indeed it do. Alright, let's go get the treasure over here. So we definitely know it's there. Go away, Cla Cyclops. And we have Soul Bottle. And that's actually a pretty good bottle. I haven't found a cat box here. Maybe there will be one in the village now? But usually there's one in like every unique area. So I'm more surprised we haven't found one in this forest at all. How many more screens is this place? Oh, speaking of the fucking cat box, there's one right there. Never mind. 250. You found a cat's. Alright. No new treasure for me that time, but next one will give us a new outfit or piece of accessory or whatever. We shall see. And hopefully we'll have enough to open it. Because now I just used half of what I had saved up. This can't be... After what I did, when you killed Luffy. Velvet, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I know I'm right. I'm sure of it. This isn't how the village should be. Well, let's stay calm and investigate. I am calm. I'm fine. Really. It didn't seem like that was someone else masquerading as this Nico girl. But if she's the real thing, then something very unnatural is going on. You get me, Rokuro? Yeah, we better keep an eye out. Yeah, something unnatural going on could totally be what's going on here. Something real fucked up. Finally found the surfboard thing. I was wondering when the hell we were going to find it. There it is. Of course, they put it at the very end of the area that you had to go through, of course. Let's see what's over here. Oh, the other secrets. S secrets get you monster. You know what? Before we take on this big beastie motherfucker, he's a big beastie. I'm going to find the next save point, which will probably be right when we're about to go back into town. And then we'll come fight him. Shouldn't take long. It's a pretty straightforward area, you know what I mean? Treasure over here. Yup. Grape gel, woot. I just bought some of those at the end of last stream. Ningji my stream. These chests are so well hidden. How do you find them? I know, right? I'm a fucking scavenger, dog. How I find anything is a miracle. Okay, so this screen is the only... Okay, I remember now. So this forest is the forest in the beginning of the game, but we never got to go past this screen in particular. This screen is where we got cock-blocked. I remember now, very specifically. We got cock blocked by, you know, like there was a group of dudes just blocking the way out of into the forest. I remember that now. So I did remember it correctly. Although this screen didn't have any of this stuff. Like it didn't definitely didn't have a red herb to pick. Hell no. It may or may not have had that treasure chest, but it wasn't marked, so probably not. Alright, so we're back to the village. Then we're gonna go fight that big old monster real quick and then we'll then we'll continue the story. 
I just wanted to have a save after having fought the story boss and that other mini boss. Like the other uh, skunk boss, mini beastie hunt boss. Although I might have saved it after fighting him. I'm trying to remember when we saved it. There might have been a save point after him, but definitely not since we fought the story boss. And I don't like redoing shit that takes time if I can help it. All right, let's go ahead and say hello to my new friend. He's my little friend. My little big friend, that's for sure. We'll do a lap around him, grab this treasure. Animalia ring? That didn't sound familiar. You're strong. Behemoth! Here we go. Okay, he's Beast Fiend Dragon. He's weak to win. Okay. We barely done any damage so far. Ooh, the damage though. Ooh, the damage though. Ready to die? Think you can die? Ready to die? Wasn't even aiming for me and he knocked me. What the hell, man? Waiting for that shit to build up to four for once. I think just keep on blocking my shit, man. It's a behemoth, all right. That's the right word for it. I don't want to fucking die. I tell you what. The unfortunate thing about today 
Is it fucking warm in my room today? So I'm feeling like very uh, cozy kind of where I'm like in that I could take a nap kind of mood, you know? So you can probably tell by the fact that I keep going quiet, but I'm like, my brain is kind of turned off and I'm like, man, I want to take a nap right now. <laughs> I can't believe we lasted this long without like, getting any deaths. Just die already, you fucking behemoth. Ah. Cool. Got knocked, lost the thing, got a thing back immediately as I got knocked. Cool. Oh, hey Morrow. Welcome to the stream. How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm just I'm I'm having another one of those days where it's like warm in my room, so I'm feeling kinda kinda lazy, tired. Kinda if like if I laid down I could take a nap. Another warm day. Otherwise I'm good. How are you? Mother? Come here. Give me this. Oh, my fan is on. 100%. My fan is definitely on. Doesn't make my room cold, though. Woo! Got him. Anyway, you're doing okay. You just got clean. Nice. Nice. Clean is good. Clean is good. Anyway, while I was saying all that, we got victorious. Armory Acerite for winning, which is one plus one initial souls to characters. Did I switch out all my equipment after I won that last fight and I got a bunch of new abilities? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Mm. I don't think I did. I definitely did not. That did not happen. You have screwed it up. You have screwed the pooch once again. It did not happen. You have fucked it. Too easy of a fight? I was a marathon of a fight. If anything, I was lucky I didn't die more there. I think Magi Lu was just keeping up with the healing. I got lucky there. Also, hey, Mara wants to change outfits for Velvet. We can do that. Give me one moment. We can make that happen, girl. I have no more waistcoats to give these guys. I need more of the Feldspar ones if I want to get everybody going here. Drop five tech on a bamboo deck. You want the maid outfit and a new hat. All right. We will look into it in just a moment. Oh, he's done with the Feldspar waistcoat. Perfect. Is he done with all the other coats? Everybody is. Fucking A. Well, we're using him right now, so there you go. Okay. I think that's everything for everybody other than his waistcoat, but yeah. All right, cool. Let's switch up outfit for Velvet then. Let's go with the maid outfit. What would we like to do for the hairstyle? Huh? The one we were already using was the maid hairstyle. Yeah, we got the normal with the hat, hair one, villager, Norman, the big old Norman head, the BN Fu. Got that summer ponytail, the pirate pony. Actually, the pirate is, oh, it's like a side pony a little bit, okay. Japanese with the double pony. Made is what we had. Summer style? I love the summer style. That's probably my favorite one. We'll go with that. And I'm assuming we're moving this purple ribbon to something else. That ribbon's got to go. All right, well, what kind of accessory are we dropping on this BZ this time? Yeah. 
You want the angry glasses? <laughs> okay. That's funny. We'll do it. We'll do it. You redeemed it, so it shall be done. All right. There's our new velvet. Back to the maid outfit with the cool, my favorite ponytail, and she's got the angry glasses on. Good times. All right, moving back to the village. Let's get back to the main story, shall we? Now that we have successfully beaten El Beastie Rama. We can surf our way through the woods. Almost there. Okay, let's see if we can get a valid explanation as to why the fuck this place is not all fucking gone. I wonder if some people will be dead. It just wasn't everybody who died. These costumes are so weird. It initially took you a while to understand that the people in your team are the same as in those cinematics. Yeah. Costumes definitely are different than the cinematics. So you have to like figure out who's who, I guess, if you don't already know. 